Hey guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today with a currently reading video for you. So I haven't done a currently reading in quite some time and I thought this would be perfect since I am in the middle of three different types of books that I think you guys should know about. So the first one is one that I am working with a publisher for this book and they were fantastic enough to give us a giveaway so I will leave a link down below for you guys to be able to enter for a chance for a $10 Amazon gift card plus a free book um, from this publishing company which is Month 9 Books so thank you so much for sending me this review copy and I'm in the middle of reading it so that one that I am currently reading is called Demon in the White Lands I am a good chunk of the way through this this book releases on September 24th on Tuesday the day that you are seeing this video and I have roughly a hundred pages left and so far this is such a unique story. This book is about a young boy named Samuel who is an outcast in this town called the White Lands. His father is the town clerk so he performs these last rites on people so he is he grew up in a very religious household. In this world clerks are not allowed to be touched and because he is the clerk's son, he is a kind of a bastard son. So the town looks down on him. He is very secluded in this. After the mother gave birth to Samuel, they killed the mother. So he is kind of deprived of any really human interaction. And he's thrust into this world of following in his father's footsteps, even though he is not passionate in that. And he quite hates it because it has affected his life so majorly and things that have been stripped from him like human interaction and his mother and being able to be nurtured so he is kind of rebelling against this there is a demon that the corrupt mayor has captured and this corrupt mayor is a 13 year old androgynous child and Samuel is tasked with taking care of it and making sure that it is cooperative to be able to use for the mayor for what he chooses. So it is a very interesting, interesting premise and dynamic. We are getting a lot of really good character building and there's a really good discussion about morality in this book and talking about what is considered human life and where things rank and it's it's a really cool book for talking points so i'm in the middle of reading this right now and i will let you guys know what i think in my reading blog but if you want to enter to win this make sure to enter in the raffle in the down bar below next up i am also reading flat share by beth o'leary and this one is another interesting premise that i haven't really heard of before um, I'm kind of picky with my romances, so for this one, I stumbled upon this and I thought this is such an, a unique plotline that I was intrigued to per pick it up. So this stars a girl who has just broken up with her boyfriend. They break up and get back together and break up and get back together quite a lot. So she just thought that they were going to get back together. She is was currently staying with her broken up then boyfriend until one day he brings back another girl and he kind of blows up about her so she knows it's time to get out of there she really can't afford to live on her own so she has found this unique situation where this person is looking for a roommate he is a nurse who works nights and weekends so he isn't ever there during nights and weekends so it is a single flat so they would be sharing a bed and sharing just this very tiny living space, but they would be agreed that they would never be there at the same time. So she gets the flat during the nighttime and he gets the flat during the day and she gets the weekends because he stays with his girlfriend. And this is just a interesting romantic comedy of getting to know each other over post-it notes because that's how they communicate in this is they leave each other post-it notes because they've never actually met. He ends up renting out the room because his girlfriend kind of vets her and deems her unattractive so she doesn't feel threatened so she is like oh no she'll be fine you can rent it out to her but he, they have never actually met at the beginning of this book. So I just thought this was such a unique 
romance concept and I had to pick it up and I am thoroughly enjoying this one so far as well. And lastly, I am reading Ruin and Rising, the third book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And this is our Mung Studies Book Club pick for this month. We are actually going to be together this upcoming week. So we are going to do a live show over on Gabby's channel. So uh, if you have read this series or are reading along with us, please join us. We are going to be discussing it and doing a live show together on this one and pretty much the whole series overview. And I'm really excited to get to this one. I'm going to be reading this one on the plane because Gabby and I are going to Harry Potter World together with Trevor and Kevin. And so we will be together for this week. I think it is still to be determined of when our live show is. So I will put a little caption here on the um, screen. If I know when we are doing it, otherwise make sure to follow Gabby and I on our Twitters because we always post out when we are going to be doing the live show. But it is coming up this week. So if you haven't finished it yet, make sure to finish it so you can join us for our live show. So those are the three books that I am currently reading. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you are currently reading and thank you so much for Month 9 Publishing for um, sending me this book and being able to do a giveaway for you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!